please subscribe and remember to turn on notifications. And check out our other free lessons on our YouTube channel. Do you want to access more free videos? If so, click the link below and register for our free course. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. In this lesson, you're going to learn five ways to improve your business communication by using diplomatic language. The first of these is by using softeners before a negative statement. So instead of simply saying something negative, you can use softeners to make it more diplomatic. Some of the softeners you can use include I'm afraid. It appears. It seems. Rather than simply saying, you misunderstood the question, by using a softener, we could say, it seems you misunderstood the question. This lessens the impact of the negative statement and stops it sounding so direct. The next way we use diplomatic language is through what we call reductive quantifiers. For example, a little slight, somewhat. Here, we can take the heat out of a potentially negative statement. For example, instead of saying, we have a problem, we can reduce the impact by saying, we have a slight problem. Another way to make your communication more diplomatic is through the use of would and could. So, changing a sentence like, can you call back later, to could you call back later, immediately makes it less direct and reduces the risk of causing offence. Approximations are another way that we can communicate more diplomatically. They immediately reduce the impact of a potential misunderstanding or offensive situation. Changing a sentence like, we were expecting the delivery today, to we were sort of expecting the delivery today, is another way to keep the tone of the communication more positive. And finally, when you're communicating in business, it is more diplomatic to refer to yourself as we rather than I. When you do that, it shows you're speaking on behalf of a company and not yourself as an individual. So rather than saying, I'm very sorry about the error, that can be changed to, we are very sorry about the error. You immediately reduce the potential negative impact when you're making a negative statement. In this session, the dialogues show you various examples of diplomatic language in use. See which ones you can see being used. Dialogue 1 now, in Dialogue 1, we're going to see two versions of the same dialogue. The first one is without the use of diplomatic language. The second version uses diplomatic language. Hello, STP Consulting. Hello, can I speak to Hugo Sanchez? I can't hear you. Speak louder. Can I speak to Hugo Sanchez? Mr. Sanchez is in a meeting. Call back later. Now we're going to listen to a more diplomatic version of the dialogue. Hello, STP Consulting. Anna speaking. Good morning. Can I speak to Hugo Sanchez, please? I'm afraid I can't hear you. Could you speak a bit louder? Can I speak to Hugo Sanchez, please? It looks like Mr. Sanchez is in a meeting. Could you call back later, please? See which examples of diplomatic language you can spot being used. Let's check the answers and see how you did. Hello, STP Consulting. Anna speaking. Good morning. Can I speak to Hugo Sanchez, please? I'm afraid I can't hear you. Could you speak a bit louder? Can I speak to Hugo Sanchez, please? It looks like Mr. Sanchez is in a meeting. Could you call back later, please? Dialogue 2 
We've got a problem. What problem? Our sales are too low this month. What's going on? We're too expensive. It is difficult to sell to our customers. You didn't read the email I sent you last week. Our promotional offers are in there. Can you email it again? I didn't receive it. I'm busy at the moment. I'll send it tomorrow. Now use the expressions covered in the lesson to make the dialogue more diplomatic. We've got a slight problem. What sort of problem? It looks like our sales are too low this month. What's going on? It appears we're too expensive. It is a bit difficult to sell to our customers. It seems you didn't read the email I sent you last week. Our promotional offers are in there. Could you email it again? I'm afraid I didn't receive it. I'm afraid I'm rather busy at the moment. I'll send it tomorrow. Let's check the answers and see how you did. We've got a slight problem. What sort of problem? It looks like our sales are too low this month. What's going on? It appears we're too expensive. It is a bit difficult to sell to our customers. It seems you didn't read the email I sent you last week. Our promotional offers are in there. Could you email it again? I'm afraid I didn't receive it. I'm afraid I'm rather busy at the moment. I'll send it tomorrow. Here are some useful expressions. Listen and repeat. It seems you misunderstood the question. It appears the package wasn't delivered today. I'm afraid the price is a bit too high. It looks like we'll have to cancel our meeting. There's a slight problem here. She is somewhat busy at the moment. He's a little stressed out today. Could you repeat that, please? Would you mind calling back later? We were sort of hoping for a price of below $50 per unit. We do apologize for the error. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other free lessons on our YouTube channel. Do you want to access more free videos? If so, click the link below and register for our free course. You can also sign up for a live lesson with a teacher.